Decades old mystery is starting to unravel tonight. Bones that were discovered back in 1992 are now linked to Greta Riles, a woman whose family reported her missing a few years ago. Two works for you reporter Darcy Jackson is live in North Tulsa where the horrible discovery was made. Darcy. Yeah, Brian, forensic experts say they are relieved to finally have a name to go along with this case after two and a half decades. But medical examiners actually consider this pretty bittersweet. They say that while they're glad they're able to give this family closure, the progress they're making to close these cold cases could be coming to a screeching halt. Once you find out a name, that certainly opens the doors for law enforcement to do an appropriate investigation. After a hunter found a skull back in 1992, Greta Riles was found, ID'd, and now laid to rest, 24 years in the making. They actually attempted DNA back in late 90s, early 2000, because they were thought it was another individual. It wasn't until 2012, 20 years after the discovery, that Ryle's family reported her missing due to her lifestyle. Court records show prior drug convictions. Five years later, they found her. They've been waiting for this person to walk into the door, and now they're told that they're deceased, and that's that's got to be heartbreaking. Riles was just one of 130 sets of remains. Anthropologist Angela Berg is trying to identify with the help of the UNT in a grant with the Department of Justice. Well, we've identified 66 individuals that were currently unidentified, and the longest is about a 40 year interval. But that grant wasn't renewed, leaving Berg with no funding. Now she hopes legislators can continue the fight to reunite families and help long lost loved ones finally come home. It certainly helps the family have the knowledge of where their loved one is, and they gives them a grave to visit, and you know, knowing where your loved one is is so important. Now, unfortunately, they aren't able to actually determine what killed Greta Riles because of how much time has passed. More on medical examiners plea to help these families coming up at six in North Tulsa. Darcy Jackson, two works for you. Right, thank you, Darcy.